Hey guys, Nicky here, Death Ray Cat YouTube channel. Not feeling so great today. Anyway, we're gonna look at Night of the Vampire today. It's by the Moon Trekkers, it was produced by Joe Meek. So we're gonna play this version in A. The original is half a step up if you wanna play along with that. Otherwise, we've got a backing track you can play along to. It's in the link below, along with the tabs. This is what it sounds like. Intro first, that's based in A. And it descends like this. The song is a main riff and it goes like this. For effects, we've got a bit of reverb, a bit of slapback, and that's it. In the song you'll hear some fuzz, so we've got a bit of that as well. main guitar riff is going to go like this second part of that starts on the A quite easy to play it's just you've got to remember where all the notes go and the order of it once you've got it it kind of just repeats itself <laughs> first part is going to go up an octave then it's playing the top part of an A minor and for the second half of that on that A minor again which is just your finger barred over the top three strings for that part it's fun to play with quite a lot of whammy bar stuff B part, so we go into the F, then to the G, 
then to the E. And it stays on the E. The rhythm guitar is going. And over the top, your lead guitar is doing this. So your first shape. Those two notes. Just repeated. Four times. And then your next shape is open, so just the B and G string. Four times there. And when it goes to the E, you do the E minor part of the E minor chord. Second fret on your D string, then open G. And then it descends. Then back to the riff. Next up we got a bit of a solo or a bit of a guitar part, starting on the 12th fret. Twelve, thirteen, twelve, eleven. Repeats that twice. Does the same figure on the ninth fret on the G. Then again on the seventh fret on the A. And then it descends. Back to the riff. pretty much the whole thing it goes up higher again I think it goes up on a, an extra high octave but I run out of frets on this so So yeah, listen to the backing track, play along to it, listen to the original track, have some fun with it. For effects, I've been using this Phantom Fuzz for the fuzz, it's got a 60s Mozrite sound, made by a guy called Pete in the Razor Bells and other such bands. That's the fuzz sound you're hearing today. Also we've been using the Fender Reverb Tank back there. and a little bit of slap back from the, uh, from the space echo. Okay, so check out the website below for the backing tracks and the tabs. We've got some X-Ray Cat Trio merch in if you want to help us out a bit. Got a few of these left. we got more music and videos and stuff, so check that out. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell your pals. See you later. See you later.